Welcome back to the Trade Hacker Mindset. In this episode, I want to talk about why I love Mondays. Trading the markets can be difficult to master and seemingly just out of reach. Professional traders have a secret. Trading requires total mental and emotional control. It requires the Trade Hacker Mindset. All right, so let's talk about why I love Mondays so much. First of all, I hate the culture that we have become from a standpoint of it's been kind of built into our culture that Mondays are negative, and our culture has kind of created this negativity. Think about every time you ask somebody, if you're going to the office today and you ask somebody, well, you know, how are you today? Some of the responses you're going to get is, well, it's Monday. Or I wish it was Friday, you know, that, that kind of thing. And even things like Wednesday is, is considered hump day as if it's all downhill from here, you know, that we're, we're at the peak of this mountain that we had to climb Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And now we're, now we're on the downhill slide. Most people actually live their lives for the weekend. Think about that. Uh, one third of your life is spent at work. You know, if you look at 40 hours a week, five hour work week, you're looking at a third of your life that is spent at work. And there's another third of your life that's sleeping. So really only one third is left for you to actually do stuff that that makes you happy, that's fun. And really that's what this episode's all about is it, what it all comes down to is happiness. If you live for the weekend, if you're just trying to get through the week so that you can get to that Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, then you're probably not very happy with where you're at in life. You're not very happy with what you do for a profession. Maybe there's a few of you who have just significantly more fun on the weekend. You like what you do, but what you do on the weekend is just a little bit more fun. I get that, but that's that's really the minority of, of people out there. Most people hate their job. They hate waking up on a Monday morning and they start getting anxious on Sunday afternoon. You know, I've seen studies that show the highest rate of heart attacks happens on Monday mornings because people get so anxious and and they get so wound up at the thought and the process of going to work again on a Monday that it actually physically affects their health. So if you're one of those people, if you're relating to what I'm saying here about feeling anxious about having to go to work on Monday or just dreading it or hating it, I really want you to think about what you're doing with your life. I mean, I know I know that's kind of a direct way to say it, but you really need to think about, are you wasting a major part of your life in doing something because you want to have the house that you live in? You know, are you, are you willing to go through all the pain that you're going through of just grinding out a job that you can't stand just to have a nicer house or just have a nicer car that nobody cares about or, you know, just to buy things that you think others will think are cool but really, when it comes down to it, they don't make you happy. And so I implore you to, to really think about that for yourself. And, and here's the reason I do, because I get it. Like, I, I kind of felt that way back in high school or grade school. I didn't like school. And so I can feel myself. I can, I can look back and see myself looking at that from a standpoint like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for the weekend. The school thing is just grinding at me. So I get it. But after school, we all become adults, right? We all become, come to a place where we can make our own choices. And if you've made the choice to go into something that you don't like, you also have the choice to change that. And to me, there is no better way to change that than with trading. And here's why. If you have a full-time job, you can't necessarily go get another job, right? You can do have a side hustle, you can, you know, start an online business or do something like that. But here's why trading is the ultimate side hustle is because you can learn to trade. You can learn the mechanics. You can learn about trading when the market's not open. It's kind of like what are you doing? You know, if you work from 9 to 5, of course you come home, you got to have dinner, you spend time with your family, do all these things. But if you're spending two or three hours a night watching Netflix or two or three hours a night watching baseball or, or doing something that creates an escape for you, 
And, and that's what it is. You're just, it, you're using it as an escape. You're vegging out. You, you don't have to think about work. You don't have to think about anything. If you're not using that time to get out of the situation that you're in, then I believe you're making a huge mistake. And where trading can come in is you can use that two or three hours a day, that seven or 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. You know, what are you doing during that time right before you go to bed? Or can you get up a couple hours earlier? Do you go in to work at nine or eight? You know, can you get up at four or five? I get up at four o'clock every morning, go work out at five. And that I just do that specifically because it makes me feel good the rest of the day. But if you're waking up right before work and you're not giving yourself enough time or you're going to bed late because you're up watching movies, watching baseball, watching something on TV, you're going to stay in this never ending cycle. And the reason that trading is such a powerful side hustle that is because you can learn about that. You know, there you can get online. I mean, this is a nice plug for for navigation trading, but you know, we have 12 different strategy courses and you can sit there and watch those and learn a skill, learn a lifetime skill that you're going to be able to use forever, that you're going to be able to pass on for generations and is something that could possibly create a financial windfall in your life that could potentially help get you out of the situation that you're in. Now, I understand if you're listening to this podcast, then you probably already are into trading. You probably are trying to build up that knowledge. You're trying to build up that awareness. You're trying to build up your your know-how and your skill for that trading. So I may be preaching to the choir here, but I'm also talking to the person that, that really has this problem with their current career that, that dreads going into work, that hates Mondays kind of thing. I mean, think about this. What if you could get to a point where you have enough income or enough wealth being built from trading on a part-time basis to where you could replace what you're currently doing in your profession? I mean, I, I see it all. I see it happen all the time. So if, if you've been trading a while and you haven't had the success, don't worry. You know, I mean, keep going, keep learning, keep understanding. There are so many nuances when it comes to trading. And to give you a little bit of perspective, I didn't make consistent profits trading for my first 10 years, okay? I've been trading for over 20 years now. I didn't make consistent profits each year for my first 10 years. Uh, now, I may be a little slower of a learner than most, and I made some really stupid mistakes, and I didn't have really a process and a system and a money management system to create a chance of success in those first 10 years. I was kind of a kind of a gunslinger, just kind of slinging it around and see what happened kind of thing until I got serious. And that's part of one of the, the whole reasons that we created Navigation Trading, because I wanted people to shorten that span from what I learned over 10 years, shortened it into a span where they could learn it in a matter of months and not that long of a period. So taking something that you can learn a lot about how to do on those non-work hours. And I, I don't, I'm not saying you have to spend two hours a day studying how to trade. I was just giving that example of what are you doing from that 7 to 11 p.m. time if you have a kind of a normal nine to five type job. If you really want to do it, everyone has 30 minutes a day. Okay, you may not feel like you have 30 minutes a day, but you can make 30 minutes a day if it's something that you really want to happen. Think about this. If I said, okay, I will give you $100,000 a year if you can find 30 days, 30 minutes per day to learn how to trade. If you could find 30 minutes, just, just learn how to trade. Just, just study how to trade. Just study our courses, study our material for 30 minutes a day. I'll give you, I'll pay you $100,000. If I said that, it kind of changes your mindset, right? It changes from, well, I don't have 30 minutes. Now, if somebody actually were going to give you six figures for actually just do, finding 30 minutes a day, you would find it, right? And so everybody can find it if they want to prioritize it. And by the way, that's a very real, a very realistic situation. If you, once you learn to trade, making a an extra six figures is not only doable, but it's very reasonable to expect. Now, a lot of that depends on your account size and, and, and a lot of things. And I'm talking to a lot of different people with a lot of different account sizes and backgrounds and, and that. So I get that. But the point is, you can build to that point. And if you are truly unhappy in what you do and, and you truly want to find a way out, then trading, there's no, there's no better 
way to do that than with trading. You don't have to put up a bunch of collateral. You don't have to buy a bunch of equipment. You don't have to hire a bunch of employees. You can trade from anywhere in the world. As long as you have a laptop and an internet connection, you can trade from anywhere in the world. In fact, a quick quick side story. I just a couple of days ago, I just talked to some of you in the in the trade hacker community may remember Earnings Mike. Mike was a a member. He's he's somebody that I've known for some time, and he was doing a lot of earnings trades. So he ended up calling him Earnings Mike, and so he he ended up kind of refocusing. He had sold his house. He had this dream that he wanted to buy a, a massive boat, kind of like a yacht, like a sailboat, like a massive sailboat, yacht, whatever you want to call it. And he's been talking about this for years. And and he literally wanted to take his family, move to somewhere and sail around and, and not have any ties to anything, not be tied down to a place or a location. And he really just wanted to hit the sea. And so what's interesting is... I didn't hear from him. I didn't hear from Mike for a while. And then all of a sudden, a couple of days ago, I get a text message and he said, you know, I just wanted to reach out and thank you and, and thank the navigation trading team because we just, from our last five months worth of trading profits, we bought our dream boat. And he showed me a picture of this 50 foot yacht. And this thing is massive. It was a picture of him standing under it and, uh, you know, it was, it was on land, kind of up on whatever you call it, stilts or whatever, uh, getting, it, it needs some work done to it. But it, it, I mean, this thing was massive. It has three different cabins in it. All, anyway, all kinds of stuff. The, the point is, this is somebody who had a vision. They knew that trading could get them. And all they were doing were, was basically iron ducks and our weekly double calendar strategy. So taking two of our strategies and just focusing on those, managing them mechanically, learning all the nuances. And, you know, he didn't just start trading. You know, he's been trading for a, f a few years now. And he had some ups and downs, but he, he refocused. And from those five months, and he sent me all the details of every exact trade that he took over the last five months to generate his profit that he needed to buy his dream boat. And so now... They are going to spend a couple months fixing the boat up, and then they're going to be off sailing. And guess what? He can trade from the boat. Apparently, they have good internet access in the ocean now with satellites. So pretty cool stuff. And that's just, that's kind of an extreme example. You all, if you're if you're in the community, you all know Tim Weiss. I mean, Tim, Tim's a, a longtime trader, but Tim took one of our strategies and kind of made it his own, made some tweaks and, and revisions and enhancements to, to fit the way that he wanted to trade. And in 2020, he made over 250% on his account, bought him and his wife moved to Hawaii, bought a house in Hawaii and, and all kinds of stuff there. So I get these emails, I get these stories from, from people every day about how the strategies that we teach and, and the way that we trade has really completely transformed their lives. And I really want that for you. You know, I love hearing those stories. Once you make a lot of money trading, you know, making money isn't really that cool anymore. I mean, it, what, what, what drives me is hearing these stories, getting these emails, getting these messages from people about how the, the strategies and the trading that they've learned has completely transformed their life and taken them from a place where they hate Mondays to now they can't wait until Monday until the market opens. And I want you guys to understand how that feels. If, you've, if you don't have that I love Mondays feeling, then I want that for you because it's such a an amazing feeling. To me, weekends are the worst from a standpoint of, especially, I mean, I, I don't want to say the worst. I, I love having fun. I love being with my family. I love doing all that stuff. But long weekends, like if you have a holiday weekend, like let's say Good Friday, markets closed on Friday, so you got the markets closed on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. By Sunday night, I am literally like anxious for Monday to start. I cannot wait for Monday to start. Or you get those you get those long holiday weekends like sometimes like Memorial Day or Labor Day might fall on it where the market is closed on Monday. That's the worst. You've got Friday, you, you trade Friday, you've got Saturday, market's closed, Sunday market's closed, Monday, I'm literally firing up my platform, checking my phone just to make sure, is the market really closed? Is, uh, are you sure? I got, I, 
the market can't be closed. And it, like literally I'm jonesing and can't wait to get back till they fire up the machines. And so if you don't have that feeling about what you do in life, if you don't, if you're not that excited to go into work on Monday, and I'm not just talking making it manageable, I'll do it just because I have to, this is life, I'm gonna make it through it. Not that, I'm talking about fired up, excited, love Mondays. If you don't feel that way, then you need to change that. Sometimes we get in our mind that we are stuck, right? We can't get out. We are stuck, we are what we are, we're doing what we're doing, and there's nothing, there's nothing else we can do. And it's, it's all perspective. I mean, this podcast, obviously, it's all about mindset. And it's all about how you perceive things. In fact, I literally, this Monday, walked into my office. And the receptionist at, at my office was like, just negative attitude, right? Just like, oh, I can't believe it's already Monday. I can't believe it's, you know, the weekend went so fast and blah, blah, blah. And I said, what? I, I had this really like genuine surprise look. At me. I was like, what? I was like, I love Mondays. Are you kidding me? And, you know, I started saying all this stuff about how much I love Mondays and how I couldn't wait to get back here. And she, <laughs> she, she looked at me like I was kind of crazy. Uh, anyway, I went, went into my office. And then later that afternoon, she came up to me and she's like, you know what? She's like, you completely changed my day around. I was so like feeling miserable and your whole energy and and just perspective on on Mondays and, and coming in here, it just like changes my mood. And 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 she's like, I just want to say thank you because it made my day better. And I was like, that's how it should be. You shouldn't feel like that. You should be doing whatever you want to make yourself happy. She's kind of like, oh yeah, I know, but I've got this, I've got this, I gotta take care of this, I got these bills, I gotta do and we all have that. But guess what else we all have? We all have choices. We all make choices. And the choices we make today are going to affect our lives tomorrow. So if you don't like your today, you've got to start making different choices. If you keep making the same choices today, you're going to have the same life tomorrow. And so start making these choices. And if you think trading is something that, that you could really grab onto, but, but you've got to learn to love trading. You know, you can't just do it because you think you're going to make some quick money. That's not going to work. If you're the type of person who actually loves trading, you are going to find a, a way to make it work. I told you my first 10 years in the market was inconsistent. I was not consistently profitable for 10 years, but guess what? I loved it so much. I knew I was going to make it work without a shadow of doubt, like with zero doubt in my mind, I knew I was going to find a way to make it work. I didn't know what that was. You know, one day I'd be trading futures, the next day I'd be trading stocks and options and swing trading and day trading and all kinds of different stuff. And I didn't really have a clear path. But once I made that decision, once I kind of got through all that roller coaster and, and really decided to focus and really focus on my mindset was the, was the key component, you know, that's when I started becoming consistently profitable. But it's a choice. It's a choice that you have to make. And I want that for all of you. I want you to come in on Monday morning and hear the sound of the opening bell and think it's the most beautiful sound in the world. Every time when we're, you know, we do our live streaming for our day trading every morning, we start the stream about five minutes before the market opens. And every morning, every time I hear that opening bell from my Thinkorswim platform, you know, so even if I don't use Thinkorswim in the future, I think I will always fire up that platform because that just starts my day the way that, that I want it to with that opening bell, that ding, 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 and we're off. You know, I mean, there's no, there's, there's, I don't think there's a more beautiful sound than the opening bell of the market opening at 8.30 a.m. Central and we're off for a new day. And here's the thing, not every Monday is great for me trading. You know, not every Monday, not every week is a great week from a trading perspective. But here's the other cool thing about Monday is that if I had a bad, if I had a bad week last week, then guess what? Monday is a brand new day to correct that and to start making this week better. If last week was a fantastic week trading, guess what? I'm even more fired up because I'm so excited about the last week that I can't wait to do it again this week or even better. No matter how you look at it, 
you can have the perspective and this isn't this isn't me like trying to be Mr. Positive guy and Mr. Positive mindset and hey, I'm going to make Monday a great day. No, I actually feel this way and I hope that you do too. Hopefully you got something out of this. I know I've been kind of rambling on this episode, but if you want to join a bunch of like-minded traders who all love Mondays the way that I do, just go to community.navigationtrading.com. It's a community. It's free to join. There's folks in there sharing trade ideas, helping each other become better traders, helping each other get to that point where they, if they don't love Mondays right now, they're going to in the future because the trading is going to get them there. So hopefully you like this episode. We will see you in the next one.